Hello and welcome to this safety tutorial for operation of the pilot scale batch distillation column in the UCD School of Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering. We'll identify the laboratory safety features and PPE required to conduct the experiment. To identify the chemical risks involved, safety data sheets for the chemical system under investigation, in this case ethanol and water, must be consulted and understood. We'll identify operational risks and approaches taken to minimise them. Finally, we'll consider action required in case of emergency. Please note that there are associated video tutorials on the distillation apparatus and on the experiment itself. Before watching this safety tutorial, you should have watched the distillation equipment tutorial. This is the pilot scale batch distillation column. To ensure your safety, and the safety of all personnel working in or near the pilot plant, the distillation area is equipped with the following safety features. A clearly marked fire exit. A fire extinguisher, which technical staff are trained to use. A fire alarm break glass button. An eye wash station and hand wash basin located in the adjoining lab. A ventilation system to extract vapour rising from the column. The extractor must be turned on prior to starting the experiment. An explosive vapour monitor, which is connected to the top of the column. Vapour which does not condense in the condenser flows to the device and is analysed. If the vapour exceeds the relevant explosion limit, an alarm will sound. A cooling water monitor alarm connected to the cooling water flow meter. The monitor must be activated. If the cooling water flow falls below a specified limit, an alarm will sound. Before starting the experiment, the alarm should be tested by manually closing the cooling water valve to stop flow to the condenser. There is a Perspex protector screen positioned in front of the still pot and condenser, the hottest sections of the apparatus, in order to reduce the risk of contact burns. All electrical fittings within the room are ATEX rated. This precaution is necessary since the distillation experiment typically involves highly flammable compounds heated to high temperatures. No other electrical devices are allowed in the room when the experiment is in progress. The column, platform and individual plates are all grounded. Before starting the experiment, you must familiarise yourself with each of these features. At all times, appropriate PPE must be worn. Arrive to the laboratory appropriately dressed. No shorts, sandals or high-heeled shoes are permitted. Long hair must be neatly tied back. Wear a white coat, closed and with the sleeves rolled down. Normally, safety glasses are worn in laboratories. For this experiment, however, a helmet with a face shield is required, providing head and eye protection. Gloves must be worn to handle the chemicals. Insulated gloves are available and must be worn when handling valves on hot lines. Students performing the experiment, the demonstrator and any other persons in the laboratory are all at risk. Remember that people in areas adjoining the laboratory may also be at risk in the event of a major incident. The experiment involves the use of two chemicals, ethanol and water. Copies of chemical risk assessments and safety data sheets are provided. These documents detail the chemical risks associated with the distillation and associated handling of an ethanol water mixture. These documents must be read prior to undertaking the experiment. And if you have any related queries, consult the laboratory demonstrator in advance of the experiment. No liquid waste is produced by this experiment since all chemicals are recycled for reuse. There are many operational risks associated with this experiment. These risks are greatest when those involved are unaware of the correct operating procedures and emergency responses. Below is a list of the main operational risks, which we will now consider in more detail. Amongst the most dangerous occurrences would be damage to the distillation column, caused, for example, by mechanical stress or contact with a falling object. This could result in the release of the total volume of hot liquid and or vapour from the distillation column. The liquid would be primarily contained within the drainage system of the bunded area. Vapour would enter the laboratory space. Failure to shut off the steam supply to the distillation column at the end of the experiment could also lead to a potentially catastrophic situation. To reduce the risk of cuts in the case of broken glass, 
fragments should be immediately collected with a brush and pan and disposed of in the labelled broken glass bin. The surface of the working area surrounding the column can become wet for any of a number of reasons, increasing the risk of slipping. Overflow from the cooling water and steam condensate tank may result in a wet surface in the bonded area. Take care. There is a possibility of splashes, spills whilst collecting samples and or transporting them for analysis, so open the sample valve slowly when collecting a sample and cap the sample vial immediately afterwards. Never carry materials in an open container. Materials being carried from the laboratory may be dropped while trying to turn door handles, so ask for assistance. Take particular care while climbing onto the rig platform. Never climb onto the rig carrying objects in your hand. Always hold the handrail when climbing the ladder. Only one person may climb the ladder at a time, and no more than two people may work on the platform at the same time. Since the equipment is hot during operation, there is a risk of contact burns. Wear insulated gloves when handling the steam valve. Do not roll up laboratory coat sleeves. Ensure all skin is covered. To minimise the risk of eye injury from splashes, a face visor must be worn when collecting samples. And remember to open sample valves slowly. As splashes and spills can also present a fire risk, care must be taken when charging the still pot, collecting samples and generally handling liquids. To minimise the risk of head injuries, Wear a helmet at all times when working in the distillation laboratory to protect yourself. Remember that a test tube rack or test tube knocked from the rig could injure a person below or cause potentially catastrophic damage to the rig. Never climb onto the rig carrying objects in your hand and exercise caution with loose objects while on the platform. Now, Let's consider what action must be taken in case, despite the safety precautions, an alarm sounds or another emergency arises, specifically if the cooling water alarm sounds, if the vapour monitor alarm sounds, if there is a massive failure of the distillation column. If, while operating the column, you hear the water alarm sounding, check the water flow meter. If the flow rate has fallen below the set point, attempt to manually increase the flow rate until the alarm ceases. However, if there is a complete loss of cooling water, immediately shut off the steam supply to the column by closing the steam valve on the supply line while wearing an insulated glove. If the vapour monitor alarm sounds, try to identify the cause. For example, has there been a liquid spill onto the vapour sensor? Has the cooling water failed? in which case the cooling water alarm should also be sounding, has a tray sample valve been left open. If it is safe for you to do so, correct the cause. If you are unable to quickly determine and correct the cause of the alarm, shut off the steam supply to the column and leave the room. Activate the fire alarm. Inform the demonstrator or another member of the staff and leave the engineering building. Assemble at the local fire assembly point, for the UCD pilot plant, the closest assembly point is at the foot of the stairs leading into the engineering building. If there is a sudden, large escape of vapour or liquid from the distillation column, set off the fire alarm. Inform the demonstrator or another member of staff. Leave the room immediately. Leave the engineering building and assemble at the fire assembly point. Thank you for your attention.